Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this pearl pour. Before we start painting, I want to tell you a little bit about the paint mixtures and ratios that I'm using today. If you're already familiar with that, definitely feel free to skip ahead to the painting part. The way I mix my white pearl paint is as listed here. You're welcome to take a screenshot of this, or you can also find this information in the description box. So to create the white pearl paint, I mix together two parts of Artist Loft soft body white paint, half a part of Deco Art Satin Enamels pure white, three parts of Floetrol, half a part of Liquitex pouring medium in gloss, one part of Golden GAC 800 and water. For the water, I add this last and I add as much as is necessary to thin the paint so that no mound forms when the paint pours off a stick and it pretty much disappears immediately as it pours back into the rest of the paint. I mix the products in the order that you see listed here, starting with the Artist's Loft soft body white and ending with the water which I add little by little until I reach the consistency that I just showed you. To create my colorful paint mixtures I mix together one part of paint. I use either Artist Loft or Liquitex Basics paint and I mix that to two parts of Floetrol plus one squirt of Liquitex pouring medium and water. I add enough water so that the colorful paint ends up being exactly the same consistency as that white pearl paint. I mix these products in the order that you see listed here, starting with the paint color and ending with the water. To get started with the painting itself, I like to paint the edges of my canvas white because I tend to get better results that way and the edges of the canvas end up with good coverage even though the paint itself is very thin. I'm layering my colourful paints in a little cup. Starting with phthalo blue because I want that color to pour out last and then I'm adding phthalo green Aqua green With that ready, I'm pouring my white pearl paint mixture onto the canvas. Now we're just going to pour that out. and then slowly and gently stretch the paint over the edges of the canvas.
Now we just have to give it time for the pearls to form. They can form and grow for hours after you stop painting. I really love how nice and big these pearls have grown. The interesting thing about this painting is that it continued to develop so much overnight and into the next day that the dry result ended up looking very different from the wet results and I've actually never had that experience before so I'm going to show you the dry result too. I love how the copper kind of stands out in a few different places and I also really like how soft and subtle the blues and the greens became. So a very interesting outcome I would say. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you next time.